The Vail's author argues that the amount of the academic excellence scholarship for the top students in every district across Wisconsin hasn't been raised since the 90s, but students we talk to say it doesn't necessarily need to be. Even in a class focused on planting the seeds of community, Anna Roden finds time to focus on Spanish. So what is the Ground. Ground, right? So She's one of 15 said, students in this senior class currently pulling a 4.0 in Middleton. It is really competitive. I think everyone kind of pushes each other. That means she's eligible for the state's Academic Excellence Scholarship. At Middleton, the four top students get $2,250 a year to any in-state college or university. As of right now, the school that I have my eyes set on is UW-Madison. So that's why I, this scholarship is definitely something that interests me. Kelly Essenther is also in the running. She's choosing between UW-Madison and Michigan State. It's kind of important. like. Just Michigan State and UW-Madison are pretty tied, so if I do get the scholarship, I'm pretty sure I'll go to UW-Madison. Welcome, Senator. But State Senator Dewey Strobel says the scholarship's amount isn't pushing enough Wisconsin students to stay in state. Right now, we're not keeping the best and brightest. This bill is, the, the law is not doing what it's intended to do. He wants to cut the number of scholarships by half to give students half of the yearly tuition to their chosen school. A Middleton counselor isn't convinced that will help. The kids that are going to leave and go outside the state, they're going to go either way. The change would mean only two scholarships for Middleton, raising concerns for the two young women working hard for the prize. It's good and bad just because, like, the two people who do work the hardest do get a little more rewarding for it, but then again, like, there are you know, 15 people who have also worked just as hard as they have who don't get anything then. I think in the end it would be better to help more people that way than maybe just, you know, the top two. Now, Strobel said today he would support finding a million and a half dollars to make sure that no scholarships were cut, but his bill is not currently worded to do so. As for who will end up with that scholarship in Middleton, where, well, there are a number of tiebreakers after the 4.0, including ACT score and number of credits, though this bill, if passed, would affect those enrolling in college for the 2016-17 school year.